Hey guys, what's up? It is Saturday, Saturday morning, and I'm craving some protein pancakes. So, I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna try a new mix, I think. I usually make them from scratch, but I wanna try a mix because I just always seem to mess it up. So, we're going. I'm making some I know I've talked about um, this before, but you know, I get all these questions all the time about, you know, Sarah, what are your number one, you know, weight loss tips for, you know, beginners and, you know, people that are just getting into it. Oh, sorry, it's been... oh. um, but anyway, so obviously diet and exercise is the number one most important thing to getting healthy. However, the second most important thing I would say besides diet and exercise consistently is water. Water is so important. It flushes out your sodium, it flushes out all the toxins, it flushes out all that excess crap that's in your body. It, you know, helps with brain function. It's just like, it makes you feel better. It makes your skin glow. You know, people ask me all the time, like, oh, what do you do with your skin? I don't do anything. And, you know, a lot of that is genes. But it's honestly because it's been little over two years now that I've been drinking a gallon of water pretty much every day I mean yeah of course there are times I miss it or you know if I have a photo shoot at night like I don't drink as much uh, water during the day or anything but water is super important and so my um, I guess my suggestion would be to I mean I highly suggest a gallon um, you really try it do it for like two weeks like see how you feel like yes you have to run into the bathroom all the time is really annoying but it is so worth it for all the benefits it gives you. So what I do to make sure I get my full gallon in every day is it, well first it depends on um, what container I'm using. So for example, this is my favorite one um, currently. This is a uh, first form bigger bottle. This is a little over a quarter of a gallon. Um, so I make sure, so I look at my time. I know that I drink more water and better at it in the morning and during the day. And as like three, four, five o'clock approaches, I, I don't know why I just drink less water. So what I do specifically for this, I set uh, times in my head. So for this one, as long as I'm done this first bottle by 10.30 a.m., the second one by 1 p.m., the third by 3.30 p.m., that's, you know, three quarters of my gallons in by 3.30 in the afternoon. And then it really usually does take me until the rest of the night to get that last quarter of a gallon in. Um, a lot of times I'll end up over drinking and have like, you know, an extra quarter gallon. Um, but say for example, you know, I'm using a shaker bottle. Well then, you know, a lot of times those are, um, eight, eight bottles. So then it's, so it goes down to, so my spread between, uh, the one for the, this bottle is two and a half hours. Whereas something like that would be more so for like an hour and a half. Um, if you take your typical 17 ounce water bottle that you buy at the grocery store, you need eight and a quarter of those for um, a gallon. So what I would do is, you know, every hour and a half makes it so easy. Like water bottles are so easy to drink. And then that last little quarter is what I would use uh, to fix my pre-workout in. So it tends to work out a lot. All right, let's go get protein. protein. I see you! I'll be back. One of my guilty pleasures in life is the grocery store. <laughs> I love going to the grocery stores and seeing like fun, cool, finding new products that are healthy and meet my requirements. I actually really want to do a grocery store like video um, and like go look at things that, you know, products market as being healthy and show you guys which ones like what to look for and like what is healthy what's not what's like hiding in there and the ingredients and like you know what those like little words and stuff that like you know you see and you're like oh, I don't know those oh I'm sure it's fine like I'm gonna do that pretty soon I've been thinking about it for a while so let's go to we're at 
Natural Choices, celebrating a 20th. We even have makeup. two options that do not have sugar in them buttermilk and then this one which also has some awesome recipes on the back so cannot wait to get home so I'm gonna try this right now um, I'll do the skinny vanilla latte uh, grande please uh, nope, that's it. Thanks, Thank you. I want a cake pop. Cake <laughs> pops are life. Seriously though, I could probably eat 20 of them in one sitting. So good. Probably my favorite sweet. But yeah, if someone just gave me a bouquet of Starbucks cake pops, I'd be happy. <laughs> so an example of a trick that these people do, they say there's no added sugar to the strawberry uh, ACI refresher that you guys know I freaking love. It's my favorite drink here. Um, and so I was like, it, it, it just tasted too sweet and I didn't believe it, so I looked into it. And the base of that drink is actually a strawberry ACI syrup, code for sugar. Syrup is sugar for the most part. I mean, it's pretty, it's, it is, it's sugar. Um, so if you go in and you look at the nutrition fact, you know, I think a, uh, a tall is like 10 grams and 20 grams for a grande and venti is 30. So, you know, you really need to watch what you order and look these things up because they're marketing schemes and they're not as healthy as they see. It's 11, 11, make a wish. Um, I wish this was good or I, I, I hope this is good. I've never gotten this drink before. Fair. Who is behind me? See how it is, because I'm really excited to try it. Mm, it's pretty good. Not too sweet. Um, doesn't like these too much, but I like it. I think I like the skinny, skinny mocha better. But guys, I'm so mad. So I ended up getting this one. I didn't realize it was banana. <sighs> All right, well, I guess it'll have to do. So, um, I wanted to explain to you guys the reason I got I got this brand over the other one, and these supplements. <laughs> Um, but the reason I chose this brand over the P28, um, I actually really like the brand P28. Um, if you, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a brand of like bread products. They have like regular bread, they have wraps, they have English muffins, um, protein pancake mix, and uh, everything they do is 28 grams of protein. So like, for example, a serving of the bread is two slices of bread because most people, you know, use two slices at once. So each slice is... <laughs> Portia, uh, 14 grams of protein. Um, but the reason I chose this brand over that is because one, well, it was a dollar cheaper, and then the serving for this is half a cup, whereas the other one was a third of a cup. So each serving, you're getting more out of this one. And then the protein for this one is 20 grams, uh, whereas the other brand, it was only 16. So, that is why I made this decision, although, ugh, 
so mad that it's banana. I hate banana. Um, but it'll make do. And then I also got uh, Walden's, <clears throat> Walden Farms pancake syrup. I usually get a different brand, but they didn't have that one here. Um, I'm not usually one for calorie free things just because if it's something calorie free, it just means, you know, it's, it's chemicals, um, which a lot of sugar free stuff is anyway. So I'm going to start making these pancakes and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. All right. So this recipe is super easy. Uh, this pancake mix, it's just going to be a half scoop of the mix and then you can find a quarter. You don't have like any cooking stuff here. Um, so, I got a half cup of mix, and then, so the next thing it says is to do a third cup of cold water, but it also gives a suggestion um, for another six extra grams of protein um, to replace the water with one large egg and three tablespoons of water instead. So, that's what I'm going to do, because if you're trying to build muscle, um, you want to be making sure you get in at least a gram of protein per pound of body fat or body weight that you are. Um, so that fluctuates. I mean, usually guys need, you know, eat more protein. Um, but even for females, like, so I fluctuate from like when I'm at like my tiniest, like super cut up, I'm around 122, 123. Um, I'm most comfortable around 127 ish. And then um, I fluctuate, and I'm typically around like 130, and then that's basically my my uh, range. So I typically try to get in about 115 to 130 grams of protein a day. It's really hard to do. Um, <laughs> I'm sure as a lot of you guys know, um, but you know it's really important, and you know you can be exercising, you can be dieting, you know, I'm doing all the right things, but if you're not getting enough protein in, your muscle doesn't have any, you know, food to grow with, and, you know, you're never going to grow, so if you're hitting a plateau, if you're doing all of this work, and you don't see, and you can't, you know, figure out, like, why you're not getting gaining muscle, um, try eating more, try, but make sure, you know, you're sticking to clean, clean things, like raw foods and clean eating. And uh, make sure, oh, I smell the banana. Oh, man. <sighs> totally screwed up. Oh. Man. Nope, not my thing. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you get your protein in if you're trying to. And for, honestly, so the more muscle your body has, the higher, the more it burns fat even when you're at rest. So, and the mu way you get muscle growth is by, you know, lifting heavier weights. So don't be afraid to lift heavy and by getting enough food in, getting enough protein in. So, you know, there, it's like a, it's like a equation, you know, you have your exercise plus diet plus water plus, you know, protein plus all these things minus alcohol, minus sugar, minus, um, simple carbs, minus dairy equals a happy, healthy, fit body. You like it? You like that? I like that analogy. <laughs> all right, all right. I like to, oh, sorry about that light. Ooh, try to black it out. <laughs> my hair looks all funky. Oh, man, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I do like my uh, pancakes smaller. I like to have, like, smaller, cute ones rather than, like, bigger, large ones. So I don't have my griddle here. I wish I did. So I'm just using this non-stick pan that Scott is seriously obsessed with. Um, if you don't have a non-stick pan, make sure you coat it with uh, coconut oil. Um, and the difference between the two coconut oils, um, I know I, I hate coconut. So if you get refined coconut oil, that does not have the coconut taste. But if you get the refined, it does. So make sure you watch what you get. Uh, there's no one that's more healthier than the other. It's just what you prefer to taste and smell so i've got three on here and probably you know one or two more in here as a mix so we're just gonna wait and flip it you'll know it's time to flip these once you start getting the air pockets in them uh, ooh. 
He's right, this pan is really freaking awesome. <laughs> Another trick for you guys to know about is that the second side of the pancake that's on there now actually cooks faster than the first side. Um, and you know, even the first side, it's, you know, 30 to 60 seconds. So it's, you just gotta watch it real close. Yes, 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 so exciting. So I just finished my protein pancakes and you know what? My, they were actually really good and I really couldn't taste the banana too much. Um, I gave it just like a little bit of a hint of a flavor and the syrup is really awesome. Um, I'm probably going to start getting that from now on. Um, but yeah, so definitely check it out. That was 26 grams of protein, uh, three mini pancakes and one like regular size one. So it probably makes like two and a half ish, like right, re regular ones. Um, but yep, hope you like that recipe and I will be baking and cooking a lot more. Thanks for the support guys.